hello um this is a different video to what um, i usually do this is just to show you the sort of games that i, I like to play i play a bit of poker here and there because well i enjoy playing poker um i like strategy i also like to think i'm a bit of a problem solver which is why you'll see such games as clever blocks hidden city and uh, King's Pyramid up there. I love math, so that's why you see the math tricks, which is actually a really good game for mathematics. Let's have a quick jump in and have a look at it. I have an Android phone, so all of these games will be purchasable for you. Uh, we'll do a quick one of no time limit, so like you get questions like 25% of 72. Uh, which is 18, I do believe. Um, yeah, or 11 divided by 0 0.25, which is pretty much um, 11 times 4. So, yeah. Um, the sort of other, other sorts of questions and that. It's not... If if you're good or just enjoy maths and working things out, it's good for you. I I do enjoy it. Um, but if not, you know, you don't have to. One hundred and seven times one hundred and seven. Many people find that quite difficult. I will quickly just break this down for you into the way that I work it out. I do 100 times 100, which is 10,000. Um, and then I do 100 times 7, which is 700. So you get 10,700. And then you do... Divided by 20 is 2, 11 times 41, which is 410, and then add 41, which is 451. 11 times 11 is 121. 11 times 6 is 66. 18 times 25, and so forth. You can sort of see the questions that come up. So, yeah, I, I, I enjoy maths. If, if you like maths, I suggest that. It gives you a, a range of different questions. I'll go back on. Not only you can do training mode on addition, uh, subtraction, multiplication of all sorts. As you can see, multiply by up to 99, uh, 25, 50, 20, and down from 20. Uh, division by uh, 0.2, a quarter, a half. 5, 6, 15, 20, 25, 40, 50, and square in of lots of different numbers. Exponentiation, mm, a bit difficult to say that word. Um, the nth root and percentage. So, yeah, you don't necessarily just have to sit there and play against the timer or play off the heart you can also play against your friends in a multiplayer mode so you can just sit there and challenge each other to who can answer the quickest i'm not going to let that come up but yeah you have one side and they have the other the little timer goes down the middle and the fastest one to answer um another game for problem solving is this one it's quite a good little game trying to get um the shapes in there properly uh, was probably not the best thing to do off the top of my head. It's like I say, it's one that I do play, but I don't tend to spend great amounts of time on it. Um, 
it's just got one that I play when I can be bothered, really. Uh, no, 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 no. Mm, that looks about right. There we go. Pretty straightforward. But it's again problem solving. Find playing these sorts of things when you've got a spare 10 minutes. It helps to expand the mind. Uh, a little bit of slots. I do enjoy, like I say, with Zynga poker. I enjoy a little bit of a flutter gamble wise. But is it, it just stops you spending money. Really. Uh, Again, problem solving with Pyramid Saga. I've been playing this game for about three years, on and off. It is difficult at times and can be very annoying if it decides to load. Um, it's basically just... You have a main card, or your main that can... When it loads... Do not wish. Okay. I don't have a timer on this one. I've do it beginning on some of them or not. It's been a while since I've been there. Um, but yeah, you sort of like you've got the seven, the eight, the nine, the ten, jack, queen, king, uh, ace two, ace two, and. Put that two to the side because we're going to need it in a bit. Five, four. Um, go one. No, it's not going to work for me. It's not going to work. Eight, seven. I've bugged it up before we've even started. So yeah. Um, no good. Like I said, um, it's taken me. A couple of years of on and off playing it to get to level 327. And I'm not even close. I mean, if we back out, you can see I've still got all of this to go. I will probably never complete it. And see, I've done all of these. Right, yeah. Good game, I do enjoy it at times. I, like I say, I have played for a week or so without stopping and then don't play it at all for a week or so and then I'll go back to it I think I've had a, about a six month break off it for a while this is a lot like Dragon Mania for me um, or it was before I found Dragon Mania very addictive even if you don't like fishing I can't say I don't like fishing I do enjoy it when I uh, go. I'm currently not on my uh, or logged into my proper Facebook, so you're not going to see my progress. But I did put in quite a bit of time at one time or other. A v yeah, a very, very lot of time. I was very far in the game. I was quite well known in the community by uh, a lot of the players that play it hardcore. I mean, they play it every day for a lot of hours. It's not my cup of tea to play like that. I just enjoy a little bit here and there. Um, oh, hang on. You are going to get to see. I must have. I didn't log back into my Facebook, so I'm not too sure why. Why you can see that no, this isn't. I must have had a another one. No, yeah, this is strange. I can't see why all of these are up. I must have started another account on. I must have started on this account at one point or other. Let me see, I'm um, level 42, I think on my proper one it is ridiculous the um, progression I have. But yeah, it's good you can get the uh, build your own farm, fish farm, um, breed fish, uh, 
make professional fishers and spectators, well, I don't know, uh, legends and stuff like that. And you can also do fishing yourself. So just, I don't know, we'll pop over here for a minute. Oh no, we're go to Australia and we're, uh, have a little look at Lord. Just have a little chuck in a couple of lines. Um, just sort of show you what it's about. So this is one of the toughest spots to fish. It's not the toughest, but you get some pretty big fish out here. And if you don't bring the right gear, they're going to snap your line and break your rod and you end up spending a lot of money trying to get it all back. I'm not sure what rod are we using. £500. Um, I'm assuming you're using... I know we've got a £1,000 rod, 500 Real, that's probably not the best idea because our rod will break. We're going to have a go at this. Tiger shark, as you can see there. On our side. Um, yeah, yeah, it's probably a tiger shark in the amount of time it's taking. It's, it's pretty... I guess at about... 700, 800 pounds. No, well, probably about four, four. Probably isn't even a tiger shark. It's probably a bluefin uh, tuna. Mm, maybe a yellowfin, yellow tip. We'll find out in a second. So, yeah, we just reel it in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what we've got is a black marlin, 342 pound, one ounce. It can release it, or we can sell it. 6 XP, no thank you, I have the 266 coins. It's not a lot, and it can take a while to build up your money. Um, the currency in this is goldfish. It's, it's, like I say, it's a lot like Dragon Mania, where you're building your own. This is too big for my rod. We we we're gonna lose it. I can't remember how much line I actually have on my. snap down they just sort of tease it tease it like this this one's going to take a while to I'm just going to assume right now it's about a 600 700 pound fish I mean my rod should be fine with it but my reel is struggling and I think if we're not Lucky, we're gonna lose it. I don't know how much line is on my reel. I'm hoping I've got enough. Yeah, we've got plenty. There we go. We're not gonna fail. We'll persevere. So it's just a case of bringing it in now. It'll take a couple of minutes. I like say you once you need a lot of the golden fish to unlock the uh, thousand pound line or reel, whatever you call it, and at which point. I'll still drag uh, fish out there that will snap your rod and reel. I've had a couple of two thousand pound fish. 
Yes, they'll look like this. Trying to bring that on on your thousand pound. Difficult. I don't actually play this game anymore. I just simply, I just, I just downloaded it, just because I thought it'd be. Um, A game for a few of you who possibly like games but haven't found one or haven't found this one yet. This is a fishing game. I've, I've played a few in my time and none have had me as addicted to them as this one has. I thoroughly enjoy this game. Or a period. I would like to play it again but I like Dragonland. Dragon Mania Legends too much and I just don't have enough time in the day to fit both in um, yeah so I just thought I'd to show you the sort of games that I play I, the, like I say Dragonland is the main game for me the other ones I just sort of you know have 10 minutes on before I go to bed or Sitting down having a cup of tea, I might stick it on for five, ten minutes, something like that. Coming in too easy, is it? Jesus. It's best be about eight hundred, eight nine hundred pounds by the time it gets here. I bet but it's only five. That'd be irritating. Four, five hundred pound. Was, I've had bigger. I've had fish that I haven't been able to catch because I've run out of line where they are ugly, where the green is at the moment. And you hold that line in and it still goes over the red. Into the red. The tension goes into the red and snaps. When it's there... Like right, that's just it's ridiculous. That's some of the fish that you get on this game. I just made not to be caught. Cool. They're also legends that you can catch. Oh look, nine hundred and five pound. Dead on. It's a trophy great white. Beautiful fish. Uh wouldn't want to eat it because I don't eat fish. <laughs> um but yeah, we sell that. And Come off this game. So yeah, that's the games basically that I play. I could say I'd, I'd enjoy a couple here and there. I'll just jump out of it that way. Uh, Enjoy.